the new Salesforce console app is a great tool that you can leverage for your sales or service desk associates and make them even more productive because it'll, it allows them to see relevant information and related set of records all in a singular responsive page. Now you may have seen some videos and documentation on how to use such an app but I haven't found a great deal of a structured uh, documentation or implementation tips on how to build one and that's exactly the point of my presentation today in which I'm hoping to show you uh, an example for building one. So with that let me flip over to my slides first. Well the first slide is <laughs> it's some marketing information on myself but let me jump to the background slide. Um, as you know new Salesforce console is re-engineered totally rewritten app and is different from the legacy uh, console tab and I'm talking about this tab which had great features but it lacked the modern web components and that's the reason Salesforce has uh, spent a great deal of effort in writing this new app which is not only responsive as you can see you can drag and drop things and they simply adjust to to your real estate uh, but the information is, is structured or rather presented in a tabular fashion uh, so you can jump from one tab to another rather quickly without losing the focus um, of the problem at hand uh, and it is a it has a dashboard like uh, interface although mine is not as pretty but you can make it really beautiful by embedding your own visual force pages br by bringing your own components uh, customizing all the colors and logos and so on and you can build this for um, your sales or service desk uh, again depending on the the key objective that your organization is after and here are three key steps that you need to follow and I'm going to show you with an example so in interest of time let me just jump over uh, to these steps so first you need to create a console app and I would recommend cloning one that comes prepackaged so I would clone this and that's exactly what I did and I've created a new app called Avi Service Console and to demonstrate I have uploaded a logo and uh, changed the color scheme for primary tab colors and footer and selected these four uh, service cloud oriented objects without going over each and every field uh, a couple worth highlighting one being this so if you select this option you get to see the suggested articles as you can see here uh, the other being um, the display layout um, here you have to make a decision whether you want to display um, say case records in their own primary tabs or would you like to display them as sub tabs of the related say account tab and you have to make that decision for other objects and you select your layout and also um, you need to choose which components would you like to display and I don't have any custom components but I have selected all three standard components that are available for this console app and as you can see they are visible here um, and then finally you assign the app to the appropriate uh, profile and you save it next you need to edit 
the page layout. Now in our case since we are working with service cloud I have taken case page layout and created one sample uh, page layout. Oh by the way it is a feed based layout which is recommended and I would even say required uh, for your console app. So that's what I did and first thing you need to do again not going over um, yeah this is good so basically you need to go over the layout properties first here and, uh, and Salesforce recommends that you turn off highlight panel which is this space so you can use and leverage for what you need to do and the interaction log which is generally at the bottom and you can keep, I, in my case I'm keeping the knowledge sidebar which appears here and after that you do OK and the next thing is you go to your feed view layout and you make a decision let me focus on the action fields here um, so if you were to say log a call what fields are required and that is the decision you make by choosing or selecting or unselecting these fields. So as you can see I have selected case number and case reason being uh, the required fields when I'm logging a call. Similarly if I'm changing the status of this case I would like to have these three fields available to, to the agent. Case number, account name and case reason so if I go and say change status I have those three fields available here okay um, and a couple of other pointers worth noting this is where you make a decision on what to display on your right column which is this and and also your feed filter options are selected here. So in my case as you can see I have selected these seven options which are visible here. Um, and with that you basically save it and then you move on with the definition of custom console components and that you do here right as you can see I have left the side right sidebar intact because I want to use uh, the knowledge one space but on the left sidebar I have chosen to select account name as the lookup object right and as you can see this is where uh, this setup is coming from. So account name as a lookup and now remember once you do that if you recall where is this coming from well for that you guessed it right you have to go to the account object right and let's in my case this is the layout and you go to mini page layout and this is where you make a judgment on what you would like to display so as you can see account name parent account owner and description are being displayed right and the related records are also coming from this setup so don't forget to do this now going back to case page layout and go to custom console components so once you decide what to display on your left sidebar and what to display on top sidebar and in my case I'm displaying um, contact details as you can see as a lookup object and again don't forget to go to contact page layout and fix your mini page layout and at the bottom 
I'm, I'm selecting some related list items um, case team, activity history, comments and that's exactly what you see coming here and being response you can drag it and see that information here right um, and by the way one point that you should remember that this related list is obviously depend on, dependent on the main page layout which is coming from here right so that related list is simply uh, coming from here going back to the console components um, now this warning is coming because we are using knowledge component um, but if you choose not to use it you can you can select to do something else in this space um, so I'm leaving the other sub tabs or other components as they are and just do a save and finally you go to you go to just like for any other page layouts you basically do assignment and in my case as you can see I have selected that case feed layout and assigned to myself and uh, I think that's how you complete step number three uh, sorry two for three I did show you how to set up so let me reinforce that yet again I'm talking about custom console components in for for any related lookup objects in our case you have account and contact you go back to those objects right and edit the corresponding mini page layout again depending on what you'd like to display here or here or here okay so that's a quick tutorial and I really wanted to share this because again uh, I had difficulty finding um, this information um, in on the web or anywhere else so I hope this was useful enough and if you did like it please give me a thumbs up and if not feel free to send me an email uh, rather than bashing me here um, so I can improve um, in future thank you for watching take care